What is going on everybody, Lime Knight here. The Nintendo Switch has been out since 2017, and with this seems like it's coming to its end, I'm here to talk about the top 5 best Nintendo Switch games since its creation. Now keep in mind, these are my personal opinions and the games that I had the most fun with on the Nintendo Switch, so if your favorite game isn't here, that's okay. We all have different opinions. So let's just get right into the top 5 best Nintendo Switch games that's come out so far. Number 5 on my list is the game Luigi's Mansion 3. Now Luigi's Mansion has always been one of those staples in the Mario franchise that always has a following, including myself. I love the Luigi's Mansion franchise. And this being the first game that got its official Switch release, it did not disappoint whatsoever. This game brought back all the classic things you can expect from a Luigi's Mansion game including you know, the vacuum, all the mechanics that come with it, sucking up ghosts and stuff, but this time they added a new flavor to it, and that is that with the addition to Gooigi. It's like a second character that you can control to help you with all the problem solving and all the puzzle mechanics into the game. Also, Player 2. If you have a friend, Player 2 can control Gooigi as well. This game has a very rich and fun story. I enjoyed the bosses in this game, and the main boss was quite fun to fight because she always had a weird motive for wanting to take down Luigi. Like I said before, I'm a huge fan of the Luigi's Mansion franchise and this game was very very high on my list of games I wanted to play on the Switch and when it came out I was very pleased with the outcome. Number 4 on my list is Marvel's Ultimate Alliance 3 The Black Order. Now growing up I've always been a huge fan of Marvel Ultimate Alliance. It's one of the reasons why I got into a lot of Marvel characters I'm into now because of all the characters I introduced when I was a kid in the original games. So when Nintendo got the rights to this franchise and brought it to the Nintendo Switch, I was very shocked but very excited that we get a brand new Marvel Ultimate Alliance game. This game focuses around how well Marvel's MCU was doing, so they were like, let's just make a game based on the Infinity Stones, and that's exactly what this is. This game is centered around all the heroes trying to stop the villains, and obviously Thanos, to get all the Infinity Stones to get ultimate power. The Black Order is Thanos' little squad of villains trying to get the, the Infinity Stones for Thanos. So you team up with a huge roster of characters, and I mean huge roster of characters, especially with all the DLC they added, and you build teams to fight all the villains and stop the bad guys from winning and getting all the affinity stones. And I will say I very much enjoyed the story of this game. This took the sto like they built a huge story around the concept of the Infinity Stones, which I do get tired of the Infinity Stone saga, but thank God we're past that in the MCU. But this game does a really good job of handling the Infinity Saga, putting their own twist, adding their own characters, even some characters most people never really heard of. And I just, I just really enjoyed the combat and the gameplay of this game. It's just a really fun beat-em-up game. I put so many hours into this game because once you beat the story, there are so many unlockables left to get. You can get, unlock all the challenges and stuff to unlock more character skins and stuff like that. I have put... Oh my god, I've probably put like 200 plus hours into this game trying to 100% this game. This game is massive when it comes to 100% in this game. But overall, I absolutely had a blast with this game. I would say this game definitely is in top tier best Marvel games ever created. That's just my opinion, but hey, argue with me in the comments. So yeah, I love this game. What a great addition to the Switch. Now speaking of huge roster, we get to my number 3 and that is Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. I feel like this is the game that everybody bought the Switch for, the main reason at least, and that is because this game is a huge staple on the Switch. Super Smash Bros. has been around since the very creation of Smash Bros. and has been a cult following ever since. Everybody really likes Super Smash Bros. And this game is no different. This game has a great roster of characters to play as and they added a bunch of stuff to make the game more interesting. 
including adding a bunch of level designs and a bunch of echo characters, a bunch of different things, and especially they added a new story mode called The World of Light, which was basically, it's like a game board that you walk around and you have to unlock characters that have been banished to the darkness from this evil creature. It's a fun little story mode that made the game a lot more interesting if you were playing by yourself. This is a game that is still popular today because people play it in tournaments all the time. It is a Smash Bros game. It's going to be around for a very, very long time. People still been playing Melee from the Nintendo GameCube. I mean, this one is going to be around for generations, I feel like. It is a giant, massive popular game. And like I said, of course I like this game. I put over 350 hours into this game just from playing with my friends and playing the story and all that stuff. I this game has so many great memories for me, and they added so many characters from different franchises. They've even branched out of Nintendo at this point, adding in Joker, they've added in lots, just lots of different characters from different franchises, which I, some of them I didn't even expect. But, I digress. This game is great. I can feel like most people agree that this is a great game, and that's why it's on my list. Number two on my list is Xenoblade Chronicles The Definitive Edition. Now I never played the original Xenoblade Chronicles on the Wii, so when this game came out as a Definitive Edition on the Switch, I had to pick it up because I was super interested after playing Shulk in Super Smash Bros. And this game definitely, definitely did not disappoint. This game was awesome. This game has gone down in history as one of my favorite JRPGs of all time now after playing this game. This game has an absolutely riveting and fantastic story that I just loved following. Plus, the game has a great cast of characters, including allies, villains, the hero Shulk is great. Just overall, the, all the characters introduced in this game shine in their own way. Now, let's talk about something that a lot of people don't like about the game, and that is the combat system. The combat system, I will say, does get some taking used to, but overall it doesn't really affect me that much. It wasn't really that hard to do. And just because the combat system's a little weird does not take away from how great this game is. Like I said, the main reason this game shines is its story mode. The story alone is an emotional roller coaster of greatness. I just can't stop talking about how great the story is. If you like JRPGs, you need to play this game if you haven't played it yet. The story alone will entice you and make you love this game. With this game being as fun as it was, it made me want to play all the other Xenoblade games coming out. So, of course I had to go pick up all three games. So yeah, this game basically sparked my love for this franchise. I wish I would have played it on the, on the Wii. So I would have started loving it sooner, but that's okay because this version is the best version of it. It got English dubbing, it's got everything, all the DLC, anything you wanted in this game because it's the definitive edition. So yes, this game, like I said already multiple times, if you are a JRPG fan and you have not played it, please go pick this game up. It is a fun, fun game. Before we get to my number one spot, I got a few honorable mentions. Mario Odyssey. Now I'm a pretty casual Mario fan, and this was a fun open world 3D Mario game that had a lot of cool features. Cappy was really cool being able to take over villains and stuff, and I just had a lot of fun with it. Kirby Return to Dreamland Deluxe. I remember playing the original on the Wii and I had a lot of fun with it. Now I get to replay it with brand new stuff added and more coat of, a new coat of paint on it and I get to play it with my kid who absolutely loves the game. This is pretty much one of my favorite Kirby games and they added a few mini games and made it where you can customize your character by putting little costumes on them and stuff. It, overall it's just a fun little game that I just had a lot of fun with. Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. While it isn't my favorite Zelda, I can't deny that it's a massive game that I actually did enjoy. I'm just not a fan of the direction they're going with the franchise. My number one spot is the game Pokemon Legends Arceus. Pokemon Legends Arceus was the first game to completely change how we see Pokemon. Going for an 
semi-open world game where you could, instead of having to just walk up to a Pokemon and engage in battle to catch it, you could just use stealth and sneak down through tall grass and throw Pokeballs, throw items to distract Pokemon. You had so many options and ways to catch Pokemon. You could just continually chuck balls. You could flank behind them and sneak up behind them. It was just a really different, cool way to catch Pokemon. Plus, this game had a very cool and rich story. It had a story based on past Sinnoh, where you got thrown through time and had to basically create the very first ever Pokedex. And you had twists and turns throughout the series, meeting interesting characters and bosses. It was just a really fun story. It also introduced us to new types of game mechanics. Every game has a gimmick, and this one had things called Alpha Pokemon. They were like bigger versions of Pokemon that were larger in size and much stronger to fight. They had red eyes. And it, what I liked about this gimmick is that instead of it being something crazy where it just completely alters the Pokemon and how it changes and looks and battles, it just made them bigger and just made them Alpha. <laughs> I just like the fact that it didn't go too overboard like we've seen in the past with other Pokemon gimmicks. Plus we had the noble Pokemon, which were like the boss battles of the Pokemon. Instead of you just using your Pokemon to battle these Pokemon, you had to use strategy and dodge incoming attacks like an, op like an action game and having to time your attacks right, throwing pouches at these Pokemon to wear them down so you could finally use your Pokemon to fight them in battle. And speaking of the battle, we had new battle mechanics, not just including regular Pokemon attacks, which the Pokemon attacks were actually different in this game. They were hit harder and they were, they were, they was limited moves. There was no abilities, there was no held items. You didn't have to worry about trying to figure out what you wanted to do to make your Pokemon better than the other Pokemon. It was which move is stronger. So you had new me battle mechanics of agile and strong attacks, which would make your Either, either your strong attack or fast attack, depending on which one you picked. And this game was very single player driven, unlike most Pokemon games where it's relied heavily on including everybody from online to trade with your Pokemon. They decided to make this one stick more to a single player adventure. And they, I think they did a really good job with it with a rich story. Overall, this game was just a fantastic Pokemon game. I'd say this is probably one of my favorite Pokemon games, honestly. They added a bunch of new versions of, like, Pokemon, like, like, Hisui versions of them. They added a bunch of cool gimmicks and cool things. Overall, just, I really enjoyed the game. It looks great. I love the open worldness of this game. And I just, I really had a great time. That's why this is my number one game on the Nintendo Switch. Well, there you have it, folks. There is my top five best Nintendo Switch games so far. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like and subscribe while you are here. Comment below your favorite Switch games to see if I missed any, because I'm sure I did. There's a ton of them out there. And I'll see you guys in the next video.